Hello, everybody, and welcome to the top five new comics for May 25th and 26th of 2021. I'm, as always, Chris, and uh, let's talk about some cool books, starting with Batman Superman number 18. This is written by Gene Luen Yang with art by Ivan Reese. If you've heard me talk about this book at all, you know that I fell in love with it from issue 16. Uh, I think issue 16 is one of the single best issues of a comic I've read in a long, long time. And um, the story just continued to get good, or continued to be good with issue 17. And uh, hey, why wouldn't 18 be awesome too? I mean, I like this parallel dimension. I like this uh, matching of two, of a Batman and a Superman when their universe that the other doesn't exist and they come together, the, uh, the different dimensions they come from are fun. And then what's happening in the quote unquote real DC universe with our Batman and Superman. And, uh, this character is kind of pulling the strings with all this. I think it's an awesome book so far and I highly recommend anyone pick it up. And I think I've said it a million times, but Ivan Reese's, Gotta be DC's best artist. I absolutely love his work. And uh, Gene Luen Yang is... Uh, I'm becoming a fan more and more as I read his stuff. So keep it up. After that, we've got X-Men number 20. This is written by Jonathan Hickman with art by Frances Francesco Mobili. Uh, we haven't had an X-Men book, in a, a proper X-Men book in a while. And uh, I think it's been two months. And I just really like what's going on with the X-Men right now. I love John Hickman's kind of rebrand here. I'm excited to see where this all moves forward. And, uh, yeah, I just, I've been enjoying X-Men for the first time probably in my life. <laughs> and uh, I'm excited. I'm sure we'll be talking about it in a week or two here, the uh, Hellfire Gala. It's all leading to something here, and uh, I'm pretty excited for it. After that, I've got Heroes Reborn, number four. This is written by Jason Aaron with art by Ed McGinnis. I have just loved Heroes Reborn. It's been a ton of fun. Uh, I like the the character-by-character character breakdown that we're doing. We did Hyperion, and we did Blur. It looks like this issue is going to be Power Prism. And this world they created where it's basically turning all of the Marvel characters into DC characters. It's a cool exercise uh i i think it's fun it's a, a interesting thing they're doing here and then kind of the backup story or the second lead if you will is uh blade trying to get the avengers back together to kind of correct the wrong that is this universe um heroes born's a lot of fun and the ancillary books have been a lot of fun too check those out after that i've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Last Ronin, number three. This is written by Tom Waltz, Peter Laird, and Kevin Eastman, with art by Ben Bishop. Last Ronin's been awesome. I The first two issues are great, and it just brings a smile to my face. Peter Laird and Kevin Eastman back together after a long time of not doing anything together and uh, a fairly public falling out. It's just been great. It first time in my life I've been excited for a turtles thing, and uh, my childhood is littered with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the cartoons to those those movies that I love personally, but I know a lot of people have uh, issues with. But uh, and everything in between, I've always been followed the turtles a little bit, but this is the first time in my adult fandom that uh, I've been excited for them. And I just, I'm loving this book. So bring on issue three. I want to see where we're going here. And we're going to end it with a little bit of an independent book. The Blue Flame, number one. This is written by Christopher Cantwell with art by K. Michael Russell. So we got like an indie superhero book, kind of pulp superhero uh, story here. Uh, I picked this one because it normally would fall off my radar, but Christopher Cantwell, I really, 
I really enjoyed his stuff at Marvel, especially his Iron Man. His Iron Man's just been phenomenal. And uh, even some of the side books he's done here and there. I'm excited for his United States Captain America. So let's see what he's got as an independent writer. Um, it's always fun to take these creative types that you enjoy at Marvel or DC and uh, see what they can do in the indie space. And uh, that's what we got here. So I'm just stoked to see what uh, Campbell has in store for us. And uh, I'm not familiar with K. Michael, K. Michael Russell's art, uh, but the pages I saw look cool. And uh, who knows? Maybe we got a great artist that I've never heard of here that we can uh, enjoy as well. So it'll be fun to check that out. So everybody, thanks so much for watching. Uh, remember that uh, you can catch me every week on the Fortress Comic News Podcast. This week we're interviewing Colin Bunn, the great and powerful Colin Bunn. Uh, always enjoy sitting down talking with him about comics. And uh, you can also catch me on the Bat Friends podcast where we're d watching through currently the new Batman Adventures. We're almost done with that one. And I think we're moving on to a little Superman action after this. And uh, then my new show. If you like Valiant Comics, Club Valiant, uh, teaming up with the guys over at IFLC. And we're going to read through the entire Valiant line. So check those shows out. I'm really proud of all of them. I'm having a lot of fun making all of them. So I hope you guys enjoy them too. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you all here next week.